Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of the of the Team Rose playthrough in Sonic Heroes. So last time we went through Casino Park and Bingo Highway, and now we're going to be moving on into Rail Cannon and Bullet Station. So here we are on Real Cannon yet again, and uh, yep, like I said, back in Team Sonic's playthrough, this is my favorite stage in the entire game, so yeah, so I'm so glad we're doing this stage again, like, um, I mean, even though we're doing this Team Rose, since it's gonna be short and easy and stuff, yeah, I still, I still really like this stage a lot. In fact, I like playing the stage as, uh, every team, that, like, every team, and then, uh, and, uh, even, uh, Team Keonic's version of the stage is, uh, pretty awesome, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get into that one, but, uh, I'll talk more about uh, team Comics when we get to them, so, yeah. Alrighty. So, yeah, um, yeah, pretty much, this stage is pretty much, uh, the same as Team Sonic's, but, uh, yeah. Like, although, like, although, like, uh, like, some of the set pieces and, uh, the level design are, are different, yeah, like, yeah, for the most part, uh, Team Rose's stages are still, uh, per are still pretty le linear, so, yeah. Alright, here we go. Yeah, and this part's different, because, uh, you're not actually, like, uh, the rails don't actually get destroyed for some reason, so, yeah. Right, here we go. Here we go. Yeehaw! God, I love I love this part so much. Like where you can just like uh, where you can just go on to like three different rails at the same time. Like where you can where you can actually dash onto three different rails. So yeah, I always love that part of the stage. So yeah, all right, here we go. All right, but again, you still gotta watch out for the you still gotta watch out for the trains coming up. So yeah, there you go. What did that? Right. Yeah, and for some reason though in this stage, uh, I don't, I think it was back, I think you, you guys probably saw it back in uh, Grand Metropolis, but uh, for some reason though, uh, Big is actually grinding, grinding on rails with this, uh, he's actually grinding on rails with this crouch, so, wow, that seems, uh, I kind of feel bad for him honestly, cause, cause that, that should be hurting him, that should be hurting him, but, I don't know, I don't, I don't think he somewhat feels it, but, uh, yeah. Alright. Alright, so yeah, there we go. Take out, use Team Us to take out those guys, and, uh, yeah. And like I said, uh, wait, I don't think I've said it before, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, a lot of people, I think I might have said it in, uh, maybe back in Part 2, but I'll mention it again, but, uh, yeah. A lot of, a lot of people, like, call Team Moses Team Blast, like, pre pretty overpowered and such. Like, since the fact that you can get invincibility, uh, in the shield and stuff, so, yeah. But I guess I can't agree with that, but... Their team blast is kind of weird though, like, like Big Big uses his umbrella and then like and then and then they all create like some create a huge storm of flowers that kills every enemy. I don't know. I kind of find that weird. Like, like back when I was younger, like I didn't actually really mind the team blast, but uh, but now I do find it weird. Kind of find it weird now, but uh, either way, it's a team blast. So what's that got to matter? Alrighty, alrighty. But yeah, there's not really that much to say about this stage, uh, yeah, for the most part, it's still pretty linear, uh, like, even though it's different or anything, so, yeah, alright, here you go. Yeah, this stage is so amazing, I love this stage a lot. Yeah, because like I said, it's, uh, it's very similar to, uh, Final Rush from, uh, Sonic Adventure 2, so, yeah, because since there's a lot of real grinding and stuff, so, there we go. Got through, a uh, Rail Canyon. And, uh, yeah, and uh, I believe, uh, yeah, I, I'm actually going to say it uh, during, uh, dur during a Team Tonics' playthrough, but, uh, yeah, like I said, this stage is really amazing. We like awesome. And there we go, we, get, we once again got an 8 rank, and, uh, yeah, and I've actually heard that, uh, there, some people actually hate, uh, hate that stage for some reason. I don't know, maybe because, like, uh, I don't know, maybe, like, uh, the first time you play it, the rogue, the rogue running controls are kind of, like, uh, are kind of crud or something, like, I don't know, like when you try to switch rails or something, you can all, you can accidentally uh, ratchet off, off ratchet off off the rail or so, something like that. So yeah, I think I used to have problems with that back when I was younger, but uh, yeah, but nowadays I'm pretty good at it. All right, all right so we're now in Bullet Station once again, and uh, yeah, I think Bullet Station is also one of my favorites and also one of my favorites in the game. So yeah, all right, here you go. Yeah, like I said throughout. Uh, Around uh, Team Sonic's playthrough, you can actually use a uh, either use a tornado attack or just use the rocket itself. 
or or use uh your speed type character at level three. So yeah, yeah. In case, yeah. In case if you guys didn't know, uh, you can you can also use the you can also use the rocket excel to actually use the uh, to actually swing in the poles. So yeah, and I like uh, Team Rose's rocket excel. I have to find uh, Team Rose's rocket excel really funny though. Like, like sometimes uh when Big gives you like before Big gives uh, Amy a boost, he actually hits her with the he he actually hits her with her butt. Sorry, he actually hits uh. How can I say this? Oh yeah, let's get this key for that special stage. But yeah, uh, for some reason, uh, Big actually hits Amy with his butt. So, <laughs> dang, I remember back when I was younger, I I always used to laugh at that. Like it's it it was just pretty pretty hilarious. So yeah, yeah, I always I always I still to this day kind of find that funny. Okay. Grab those rings right there, and then Amy just keeps saying it all right for some reason. Okay. Alright, let's take out these guys, so, yeah. But yeah, I really do like, uh, Amy's, uh, tornado attack, because, uh, you can pretty much, uh, yeah, you can, it's, you know, since it's, a it's a range attack, you, and you can launch it straight forward, yeah, that attack is pretty good. But, uh, I wouldn't say it's pretty good for, like, team fights, or maybe just, uh, Team Sonic's fight, to be, to be precise, because, I don't know. Because, as you saw back in part two, like, they were, they were taking, uh, a long while. Uh, okay, can we get up there? Okay, let's... Yeah, let's do that. But yeah, uh, you saw back in part two that uh, it was taking a while for them to like uh, to to be uh, kicked out of the stage. So yeah, I swear, like sometimes those team battles are easy, and sometimes the uh, like sometimes like they're easy, and sometimes they're nerve wracking. So I don't know why. Like, yep, let's do it big. Here we go, bounce it. And, uh, yeah, and I think, uh, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but, uh, yeah, I think, uh, this is probably, like, uh, probably the last 3D Sonic game that Big is playable in. I can't remember if he, if he was in a 3D Sonic game, but this is, uh, yeah, but as far as I know, I think this is pretty much his last, uh, 3D, uh, the, the last, the last, uh, 3D Sonic game that he's playable in. I mean, even though he was, he was playable back in Sonic Adventure, and, uh, like look at this 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 man is this man is grinding on rails with his crotch. Oh my god. Poor big. I so I still feel bad for him, but uh yeah, but he was playable in Sonic Adventure and uh and yeah, I'm not gonna lie though, um his stages his uh, stages in that game really suck. Like I I I actually, I actually I actually did not like his stages at all. Because you literally just sit on your butt and fish and then like like you got like uh, cause in that game he loses uh he loses Froggy, and then the then he tries to uh, get him back, and then the yeah, and then in the stages you, you literally just sit on your butt and just sit sit on your butt and fish uh, fish for Froggy, so yeah, yeah, and and uh, catching Froggy is kind of a pain, pain in the butt as well. Like uh, I think from what, from what I've heard, you can actually hold down on the control stick in order to like have Froggy grab on the on the fishing lure thing or whatever it's called. I forgot, but uh, yeah, I was surprised I was able to get through it uh, when I first played. When I first played the uh, Sonic Adventure DX, when I first played Sonic Adventure DX last year, so yeah, yeah, Sonic Adventure DX was a pretty good game. Like even though like all the characters gameplay was good, good for, except for Biggs, but for for the most part, uh, I really like that game. Okay, so now we're gonna be moving on into the special stage. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I actually, I almost forgot because uh yeah, because I forgot we um we did get the key for. We did get the key in that stage, so yeah. So here we go. We're finally gonna be collecting the rest of the rest of the chaos elements with Team Rose. So let's so yeah, let's do this. So yeah, yeah. Because if you can't see, if you guys didn't know, I already did collect the first three with Team Sonic. So feel free to check those first. Uh, check out those first three parts. So yeah. All right. Oh shoot. Oh, come on. You can do this. All right. And yeah, I think uh. I think these special stages kind of remind me of, uh, what is it, the ones from Sonic 2 and Sonic 3, because, like, like, it's between a mix of those games to where you're on a half-pipe structure, and then, uh, and then, like, and then there are spears around, so, yeah. Yeah, it does kind of remind me of those stages from those games, the special stages from those games. Okay, can we make this? Okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. And we got it! Heck yeah! We did it, boys! So, yeah, um... Yeah, I think uh, back then, um, I mean, maybe, especially if it's your first time playing, like, uh, I think these special stages can be pretty tough, but, uh, yeah, 
But nonetheless, they're still easy. But there we go. We finally got the darn fourth Chaos Emerald. And now there we go. Now we're going to be hanging on into the boss battle. So we are now once again facing the Egg Albatross once again, and uh, yep, he pretty much the same strategies as before. You just gotta, you know, take out, take down his, uh, you know, you just gotta take out uh, these things first. So yeah, yep, it's uh, so yep, just like with Team Sonic's and pretty much with every every team with that matter. Yeah, it's a three phase boss fight. So yeah, yep, and to get an Eric in the stage, you have to beat it another uh, two minutes. So there we go. We took out uh, phase one. Okay. But yeah, I do actually recommend leveling up your speed types because it can actually deal more damage to the uh, to the Egg Albatross. So yeah, all right, here we go. Yeah, literally all you have to do is just spam the heck out of the A one, and then uh, yeah, all right, I'm just gonna grab that last uh, grab that uh, second power core. There you go. And I really do like uh, Amy's uh, Hammer Glide. Hammer Glide. Alright, I don't know what's up with the audio, but I'm not sure if you can actually hear, I'm not sure if you heard green, but, uh, yeah. You can actually either use, a uh, Thunder Shoot. Sometimes you can actually use, a uh, Thunder Shoot to maybe, like, attack it a little, but no. Like, yeah, you can just, uh, use, uh, yeah, you can just, uh, you keep on using your homing attack, and then there's pr and then, uh, everything's all hunky-dory. Alright, can we do this? I'm trying to do the Team Blast glitch. Alright, there we go. Alright, can we, uh, oh, I'm oh okay, okay. That was pretty rude right there. Alright, can we do this? Team last right here, and... BAM! We took him down! So there you go. That was the Egg Albatross defeated as Team Rose. So yeah, it, so yeah uh, once you know what to do, this boss is uh, pretty self-explanatory. So yeah. You know, I do find it weird how, um, after, where after you defeat the Egg Albatross, Eggman flies away from his Egg Hog, but now with the cutscene, like, like, we see, we see him lie, de we see him lie on the floor, like, I don't know, like, it's kind of, it's kind of weird, though, like, cause I'm gonna assume that, uh, Team Rose probably got there first before the others, before, before the other teams did, yeah, because, uh, yeah, because, uh, back in Team Sonic's cutscene, uh, his, uh, what is it, um, yeah, we 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 already see uh, Eggman's uh, Eggman's uh, uh, decoy head pop out. So I don't know. I kind of find it weird. And uh, plus, Metal Sonic didn't actually show up that time. So uh, that's kind of weird. But um, with that, that's that that is the end of this video, folks. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, for the next part, we're gonna be moving on into Frog Forest and Lost Jungle. So yeah, um, as always, I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and I will see you all in my next video. So take care.